the big beef that I had initially with the EPA Norfolk Southern and still have is that there's no multitasking here. The creek down the hill from my house, Leslie Run, a week and a half ago, when I came down to check it out, it was still full of chemicals. And we're gonna see how it is today. And I'm gonna grab a jar of water, get a sample, I'm gonna overturn some rocks. It's actually a nice day. It's hard to believe it is 55 degrees right now. It's about 4.30, that is just crazy. That entire creek bed is untouched. Nobody cleaning the creek, no work like that being done. I don't understand it. And where are those chemicals going that are just seeking the lowest point in the creek? And it has to be getting diluted into the Ohio River. I don't know how long that takes to clean all those chemicals out, if ever, because those chemicals are laying there under the rocks. And when you pick the rocks up, the chemicals come out from underneath. So we're gonna see. There's a bunch. There's a bunch. When I came down today, I was surprised to see that Norfolk Southern or the EPA, I believe, removed their dam with their chemical catching absorbing pads. Oh, yeah. Definitely shitload of chemicals. Ms. Vogel from the EPA was so proud of her job of placing barriers across the creek to contain what she called the product. Why did they decide to move them now? I can only speculate. Was it to wash the chemicals down the creek and hide the evidence and send it down to our neighboring counties and West Virginia? With every rock I turn over, chemicals just seep out of the soil and the creek bed and flow rapidly down the stream. This looks different than what you see in earlier videos where the water is still. I was shocked to see my first sign of life in weeks. A worm was alive under this rock. Oh boy, lots of chemicals there. Lot of it. Is it a good sign that that worm is alive? Or is it a bad sign it is able to coexist in this chemical muck? Oh, lots of it there. Holy shit. The dam was still up that the EPA was so proud of, this would have been a much more dramatic display of rainbow chemicals. But instead, it rapidly gets flushed down the creek. Oh yeah, oh yeah, a lot of it. Remember in Pulp Fiction, when John Travolta and Samuel L. Jackson accidentally shot Marvin in the face in the back of their car? Then Harvey Keitel's character came up, cleaned up all the blood, any evidence, and got rid of the body. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Fortunately for the EPA and Norfolk Southern, they also have a cleanup man by the name of Leslie. Leslie Run Creek. Oh, 
Oh man, that's a shitload. Norfolk Southern and the EPA are sending chemicals to our neighbors to our south. It's the gift that keeps on giving for years. Oh, shit over there. The way this chemical tends to seek the lowest point of water, I can only imagine in the five weeks since the accident how many chemicals have seeped down into our soil. By sheer volume, I am seeing less chemicals this week than on prior weeks. Remember, this site was not cleaned. These chemicals went somewhere. How many flowed down south as they removed the barrier to increase the rapid flow of the water and how much went into our creek bed? I hope we never find out. If you look closely, you can see the white chemicals in suspension underneath the water surface. What will this do to an animal if it drinks that? Oh, shit, man. I don't know. I don't know. I've been wired an optimist since I was a child. I wish sometime I would stop being so naive. I thought this creek would have been cleaned up. I actually still believed in our government and the EPA. Anyone who loves fishing or nature cannot deny the beauty of this creek. The media shows the creek running through town and just like any town or city, the water's slow and cloudy. I fear. Leslie Run Creek south of the city is tainted forever. Whether that be tainted with forever chemicals or forever tainted in people's minds. This is approximately two miles out of town as the creek runs south. It is such a wonderful usually crystal clear stream. Up. Oh my. Notice not what you see, but what you don't see. The absence of any crayfish, any salamanders I might find under the log, any insects. Early reports were 3,500 fish killed. Later, that rose to 43,000. I've asked myself over and over again, why in a fish kill did they remove every single sign of life from the shores and the water? I've seen fish kills before and I've never seen that. Supposedly they didn't want any animals eating the poisoned fish. Well, animals drink water too, don't they? Could it be that as reporters look down from the edge of the creek, at this pristine body of water, everything looks normal. Holy crap. That is, until you dig just a little bit deeper. Which made me wonder, at what point in time did reporters become so lazy? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy shit. It's moving so fast. Man, oh my God. These are a $7 pair of gloves, a $20 pair of rubber boots, and an hour of my time. Where are the real journalists? Kolchak is turning over in his grave. There we go, there's coming up. Oh, it's all coming down now. And my eyes are burning. I'm gonna get out of here. I've seen enough for one day. It's at this point I made a rookie mistake. Fighting against the current and moving too rapidly, my boots filled with water. 
And just as I did many times as a kid growing up in these parts, it was a barefoot walk back through the woods. The unfortunate part of this story, I never had to wear a respirator as a child. Yes, Senator, it's the number one priority of the team on the ground to prevent any additional releases through rain events or of course, from going any further than the initial contaminated area, that is our number one goal with water management Ms. right Shore, now. Do you agree that it's a safe place to live? Senator Graham, science is EPA's North Star, and we follow the science. And I drink the water there. I drink it every time I go to town. Okay. Because the scientific data shows that it's safe. Okay. As does the air. That's good. Ms. Vogel, um, you're from Ohio. Would Have you been there? I've been in East Palestine since February 3rd with the exception of five days. That's a real dedicated effort here. Um, do you think you've been enriched by these visits? Has it helped yes. you? Yes, Senator. Do you think you've learned more about the problem having talked to these people? Unquestionably. Uh, would you have a problem living there now? I mostly do. You do have a problem living there? I mostly live there. <laughs> okay, but so you're okay? Yes, sir. Okay. My team and I have been there. Okay, good. Well, the so. Last month. And just like children, adults too will get away with what they can if you don't keep an eye on them. As for Leslie Run Creek, is there testing being done in this creek? I have no idea. I do know that I've never seen a soul in this creek and I've seen no cleaning. Is it safe to live here? That's debatable. I wouldn't live near the creek, and I wouldn't have my kids play in it. And what good is it to live in a place with such a beautiful stream and not be able to enjoy it?